Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. If there is an open source alternative available for GPT-3, that is GPT-J6B, some people might get pissed because I call it open source alternative, but you know, because the company that says itself open AI doesn't make it available for everybody to use. So a group of researchers, especially thanks to from uh, Eleuther AI has put together a model, like they have released a lot of models, but the very latest one called GPT-J6B is almost a very good alternative, open source alternative for GPT-3. If you wanted to build something with GPT-3, but you do not have access to GPT-3, your go-to model is GPT-JB. So what is GPT-JB? I've got a separate video about it, but to quickly say, it's a transformer model, similar to you know your GPT-3, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's using JAX. It's been trained using uh, the mesh transformer JAX. And the 6B represents the 6 billion parameters um, that are used to train this model. If you want to know more about this model, I would link this description page in the description. You can check it out. But if I have already made a video about GPTJ, why is this video? This video is because GPTJ is now available as part of Hugging Face Model Hub. You can see the page. Whatever I'm showing currently, it's 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 actually available part of Hugging Face Model Hub, and then you can simply use it with hugging face transformers and that is that is really really going to open a huge opportunity for a lot of people who know who or who who likes to use uh, hugging face transformer like there are a lot of people their pipeline has been set up um, with the hugging face transformers and having gptj available within hugging face transformers means a lot of people can use it but more than that what i'm more excited is that how simple and easy it is for anybody to build a model like an interface using gpt3 like basically you can create a text generation application web application that is powered by hugging face inference api that uses gptj model and then radio for ui and it's it's all like six lines of python code and that that, that just blew my mind thanks to the person who created it it's uh, ahsan khalik so Asian Khalik has created this code and I'm just going to walk you through that code. This is not my own code. I didn't write this code, but this is an amazing piece of work. Like I feel like an art where in a six lines of Python code, you can actually have almost like the state of the art text generation model that is available on the open source, which is GPT J 6B powered by hugging face inference API with Gradio UI. So in this video, I'm going to basically show you how you can create something like this on your Google Colab environment. This is Hugging Face Spaces. If you have got Spaces access, you can do the same thing on Hugging Face Spaces and then deploy your model. But if you do not have access, you can do the same thing on Google Colab Notebook. So now open your Google Colab Notebook and then first install Gradio. So the first step is you have to install Gradio. Gradio is this amazing, you know, prototyping UI where if you want to create quick demo or quick UI or full stack application that doesn't require a lot of customization, a lot of features, Gradio is your go-to tool. And the good thing is, you know, when you run Gradio on Google Colab, you also get a URL that you can share it with others, which is not something you get from a lot of different um, alternatives um, or sophisticated alternatives. So first pip install Gradio. Q that's done. The next thing is like you see um, this this entire code that I'm going to walk you through is Axon Halix code. So this is not my code. So thanks to Axon Halix. Once you have that in place, import Gradio as GR, the alias GR. Define the title of the application, like what should come at the top. So if you see this thing, this is how the application looks. This is the title. So you can you can basically give anything whatever you want. I'm going to call it GPT J six B app. And once the title is defined, now you can say what is your description. The description usually goes here and then you can also specify the article. So the, the, this, this can go here. So description and article, whatever you want, you can describe it there. Example, all you have to do is uh, you have to give some examples. Examples are very helpful and handy. If somebody doesn't know what prompt to give, so basically they can click from here, like they can click from here. So give examples. And in this case right now, what example is like just basically like lists of less so you can you can define it like this but we are going to use everything in a different um, different method so right now at this point we have defined the title we have defined the description we have defined the article we have defined the examples now is the main component right so basically what uh, one two three four and uh, this is like a fifth like we have basically five lines of python code so far and then the sixth one is the quite simplest one 
gr grade you interface dot load so this method would help you load the gpt j6 billion model and uh, when we talk about loading the model so it's going to basically do this task using hugging face inference api so if you want to quickly look at what this does so i can i can just go to google so this is not required search for it hopefully it doesn't try to open the website oh dear yep yeah. um ml example documents loading you can see that when you use gradio.interface.load especially when you give um like the model name so what it does is the class method to construct an interface from an external source repository such as hugging face and um, it it just it just uh, loads the model for you if you have your own api key uh, like an inference api api key you can give the api key here otherwise you can just leave it as it is now that we have successfully managed to we have successfully managed to load the model and then the inputs the inputs are simple you want a text box that text box comes here with like basically five lines of code and then you basically say that input text you say input text and then the title title the description is description the article is article the examples are examples once you are done with all these things you can just simply click launch just write launch then you would get this interface right within your google collab session and google collab notebook in fact for that matter let's run this once you run this you can see that it it's it's going to take a couple of steps and um, and then you know you got this if you want to open this in an external url so you can share the url this url is valid for 72 hours like as long as this app is running this url is going to be valid for 72 hours so if you let's let's imagine like you're going to do a project you're going to give a talk um, you want to do a uh, like a, an assignment for your job interview take over assignment you want to impress the interviewer like basically you are giving them 72 hours free hosted web application for them to evaluate your full stack data science skills or whatever you would like to call that so at this point we have got the gpt j6 billion 6b app ready for us to use so we can start with the existing prompt so i can just say that it like moon's orbit around the earth has something and then click submit it's going to it's going to generate the text probably i would try something else maybe i would try um uh, nlp these days is let's see if, if it if it shows something you can you can see the latency as well like uh, how long it takes you can see the latency in 4.74 seconds it has actually generated nlp these days is the is to, is to get the root root cause of the problems then correct it um, and then you know it's trying to say something chess is an amazing game and this is like the probably last example that i wanted to show you again uh three four four five four point five seconds you have got chess is an amazing game i've heard it played in different countries the chess current chess world champion is in russia i think i right yeah right now it's magnus carlson who is is probably norway based but um but yeah the, you can you can deal with the context of it but you have gptj six billion if you want to click the link you can still click the link and at the bottom you would see that this is built with gradio so if you if you want to deploy this there are a lot of different options available especially if you have got access to hugging face spaces you can just go ahead and deploy it and if you want to permanently call so you can you can go to the gradio website and um, and look about um, um the their hosted service like they have a they have a hosted service where you can actually you know host things so you can you can look at uh, how the hosted service work and um, um, and i mean like what is the charge what is the cost uh, that they're going to charge but otherwise this this is this is like really amazing right this is um i i i cannot imagine myself that i'm living living at a time where uh, where there is a group of researchers who have built built an open source um open source sticks generation model using six billion trainable like training parameters that is available for me on hugging face hub and i can build a like a full stack app with just like six lines of python code that you know like if I imagine like five years back, probably like a PhD project and today it's like, you know, I'm, I'm making a video for you to add it to your portfolio, right? So this is, this is amazing. And because this, um, this model is also available on Hugging Face, um, Hugging Face Hub, you can also play with the browser inference API. So I, I, I can give something like um, uh, Indian cricket is 
and then I can ask uh, ask it to compute and then it would uh, it would compute and then give me the result so I can I can see the sample from here but uh, if, if you want an app for yourself hosted somewhere then yeah definitely the option that I was just telling you um, using the code that um, Hassan Khalik has built basically you know run it on Google Collab or wherever you want to run it. again like amazing way I would link this um, notebook Google Collab notebook in the YouTube description I would also link the code or the hub um, hugging face spaces app built by um, um, Ahsan Khalik in the YouTube description um, also to the Gradio page and the 6 billion no, GPTG 6 billion um, model page on a hugging face model hub if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section otherwise I think this this is this is just mind-blowing and thanks to all the open source community um, Eleuther AI, Gradio, Hugging Face for making this happen and then you know making making applied NLP an amazing time uh, to do at this point and um, yeah happy coding stay safe